everybody. Thank you for joining me. I do appreciate it. Today is an awesome day. I got two books in the mail from two of my very favorite publishers. I did a, a video for this one already, unboxing video, Sun Tup Editions, Artist Edition of Slaughterhouse Five. We're not going to talk about it here today, but if you want to check it out, check out that other video. But the other one of my very favorite publishers that got me a book in the mailbox today was Centipede Press. And it is The Man Who Fell to Earth by Walter Tevis. And this is a book that has spawned at least a couple movies. And it is a lot more well known, I think, than people realize. But anyway, when, uh, when Centipede Press put this book up for sale, I believe the, the, I believe the price was 125 bucks. I just had to jump on it. I couldn't let it pass. And it's come in. Typically what happens, one of the... There's a lot of good things about Centipede Press, a lot of great things about this publisher, but one of the neat things is they usually don't sell books until they're either ready or about ready to ship. So you don't end up buying a book and then waiting six months, which ain't bad, a year, which is okay, or four, five, eight, ten years, which is completely intolerable things that some publishers do. But Centipede Press, typically when you buy a book, you should have it in your house, at your house, within a, within a very short period of time. A week, two weeks. Sometimes they'll sell a book a little bit early. There's a there's an edition out right now that they, they told you before they told us before it was put up for sale that it would take a couple months for this one to be delivered. But anyway, this one here, I think it's been maybe two weeks, something like that, since uh, since I bought it. I bought it in January of 2023. And here it is, the end of January 2023, and it's in the mail. And one of my favorite parts of Centipede Press books is I know it's going to be wrapped in a big old stack of these things. And they just have such great pops. It's so satisfying. So not only do it satisfy me that I get to add cool books to my collection, but I get to satisfy an even more primal urge like popping them things and they make the good noise. It ticks my wife off. And when I give that to my kids, I need to make sure to warn them, pop them all before mama gets home or else you're gonna get in trouble. And somewhere and you get in trouble, I'm gonna be in trouble too because obviously I gave them to you. But let's talk about the man who fell to earth. This one comes shrink wrapped and number mine seems to be number 250. Let's get it out of the shrink wrap. Let's take a look and see how beautiful it is. I just go ahead and say it right up front. Centipede Press books are always nice. I've never had one that disappointed. So let me take this little knife and cut this little plastic. This one's kind of loosely, loosely wrapped. It's not tat like a lot of them are. So the cutting, when it's loosely wrapped, the cutting is even more difficult than when they're tightly wrapped because the plastic moves more when you poke it. Anyway, a lot of people get nervous about taking the plastic off of their book. The, somehow the thought of putting a sharp instrument just millimeters away from a book that you paid 125 bucks, I think that's what I paid for this one. Knife, $125 collectible item, that close together makes some people nervous, but it never makes me nervous because I've got a secret method, a secret technique that if I do it, will never fail. That secret technique is that I cut the plastic and I don't cut the book. Never fails, as long as you execute. But here it is. Man, it looks beautiful. I love the colors. I think the colors are what most attracts me to this cover. Man, it's going to look good on my shelves, this dust jacket. Take another look. All right, and there's the back of it. And they, uh, Centipede Press typically does such a wow. Hang on a second, I'm going to show you something else in just a minute. Stop peeking, I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But Centipede Press always does such a great job of trying to get us amazing dust jacket artwork. Their dust jackets look so nice, and many times they ship extra dust jackets in with the books. But I might must be on the list because I didn't get any extras in this box oh well i get what i paid for and that's cool that's all i asked for dude that's all i want but anyway i had to stop talking because when i lifted that dust jacket look at our cover look at the cover of this book 
And the color artwork is from Lisa Desamini, and I'm sure, Lisa, I've said your name wrong. I do truly apologize. I do not wish to offend. That's just the way I am. I screw up all the time. But look at the two-color foil stamping on the spine. It looks so nice. Centipede Press is a publisher that is usually going to print books that when you take off the dust jacket, you kind of wish you didn't because I don't know if I want to display it with or without. They look so good without the dust jackets. And the trademark black cloth boards are so nice. And uh, look at here. Check out these end papers. Man, I've told you that I've never been disappointed in a Centipede Press book. And it looks like uh, no exception here. So I tempted fate and Centipede Press came through. I'm going to go ahead. The signature pages. For those of you who don't buy a lot of Centipede Press books, look in the back for the signature page. Some of us are going to open it and look in the front and we're not going to find it. We're going to be very stressed thinking we got an unsigned copy but the signed copies are gonna have signature pages in the back. And here is my signature page, copy number 250, with a facsimile signature from the deceased author, Walter Tevis, uh, a, an autograph by Lisa Desimini, an autograph by Stanislav Dikolenko, who did the black and white illustrations. Um, who else? Justin Humphreys, Norman Spinrad, have also signed our book here phenomenal now uh so it's a beautiful signature page i'm back here let's take a look at our text pages here and there's a little bit of stick you see the top edge sprayed there so when i opened it in the middle there was a little bit of stickiness where they didn't didn't quite want to come loose but it was very minor a couple of these pages they're sort of stuck together a little bit but they seem to come free very easily there's an example that page there kind of wants to stick, but with almost no coercion, it opened up just like that very easily. But anyway, I wanted to show you what the page color looks like, what the text size looks like, the font size, and it's very medium, very, very normal, I think, as far as the size of the text goes. Let's take a look at some of this artwork. There's often so much stuff in a centipede press book that there's just no time to show it all but i'm going to go through here and try to pick some man look at there just check that out golly it looks so good looks so nice so it's illustrated by lisa desimini the color illustrations the black and white illustrations by stanislav dikolenko introductions by justin humphreys and norman spinrad published by centipede press sweet I really, I really am happy I was able to get a copy of this book, and I'm excited to actually read this book. Another one of those books. One of the great things about Centipede Press is that they publish books that sometimes somewhat obscure, books that I probably have not read, and it gives me, most of the time, I haven't read a Centipede Press book until after I already get one, so it's a neat thing. They're opening up my reading world, and I think that's part of the method to Jared's madness is to expose a whole new world of readers, some scenes or some images from the, from the movie, to expose a whole new world of readers to stuff that they may never have heard of and that maybe they would go the rest of their lives having never heard of if it wasn't for the good work of Centipede Press. So I call that good work, and that's truly what it is. Also, we have the showcase of covers. Uh, something Centipede does so often is showing us the covers from a lot of the old paperback, soft cover editions of the books. And it usually it's such neat artwork that it becomes one of the great things about flipping through uh, a Centipede Press book. I love to see this old artwork. And sometimes I miss it. It seems like seems like we got a lot of great artwork in some situations and we get some really crappy artwork nowadays too but when i look back at the soft cover stuff from days gone by man there there were some really neat covers on a lot of those books centipede press is putting them back out there for all of us to see so i want to flip through here and just just show you there's a a little bit of stuff here just show you what i can find some of the stuff that makes a book like this 
a hundred and twenty five dollar book. There are publishers out there that put out uh, books of similar quality, quality materials, quality binding, and things like that, but don't have all this artwork in there, and they charge considerably more than Centipede Press typically charges for the book. So it's a uh, it's it's a terrific publisher. And you get great value in there. It's, it's To some people, how do you get value out of a $125 book? But there's a lot of folks out there that are paying five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for books. Anyway, most people on this planet don't spend $125 on a work of fiction. But for us collectors, we know that uh, it's just part of it, man. You want to get the good stuff, you got to pay for it sometimes. And when you do... It's very, very nice to get a lot of these extra features. It really makes makes it special. It makes this book mean something when it's sitting on my shelf. No one, not only does it contain a special story, but as I pick it up and I flip through the pages, I can see beautiful artwork and I can see historic stuff. Now, the back of these illustrated pages, I haven't shown you every one, but they've got some kind of artwork on the back so it's some neat additional stuff it just the, the surprises just keep coming let's see if i can catch this one so this is the back of the next illustration there and that's some kind of artwork on the back of it and then there's the other side there's the illustration so it's so much stuff stuff on top of stuff probably the next time i open this book it'll be to read this book and I'll notice more things about it that I didn't notice now. See, I'm getting some of these pages sticking from that top edge spray. Very common, but what you don't want, see, that's kind of stuck. Very common, but what you don't want is for them to stick and not want to give up, not want to let go. And when that happens, you might end up tearing something. So, so far, everyone that I've come across in this book, it gave up. It didn't put up a fight. It all came loose with little to no coercion and uh, which is good. So it looks like I've got some more illustrations here. I want to be able to show you what I can show you. And again, there's the other side of an illustrated page. And then here is the, the advertised illustration. And we're almost to the end. But man, I, I really like this. I, I've When I get a Centipede Press book, I just, uh, I know I'm going to like what I get. And it's going to be good. And this book really does satisfy it satisfies that urge to get something nice so go out and buy yourself a centipede press book or 50 and you won't be disappointed in what you get even their cheapest their very cheapest editions 50 dollars book i just showed you last week or the week before i showed you a 50 dollars book and it was one of the best 50 dollars books that i've ever bought but uh, Centipede Press does it. They do the thing. Here's the back of my signature page. So typically, even the back of the signature page has something special for you. And the end papers on the back. So there are end papers on the back. Looks like the end papers on the front. But there it is. The man who fell to earth. It is flipping phenomenal. It's a beautiful book. A beautiful dust jacket. I feel like I get my money's worth every time. I can think of no more lies to tell, so thank you for your time. Say la vie, baby. Doo -doo.